Lola jumped out of bed. She was excited. It was the first day of forest school. Lola's mother, Miss Lola, sang the alphabet song while she helped her get ready. Lola loved the alphabet song. On the walk to school, Lola clicked clack on her sticks and danced the alphabet song. She hummed along while her mother sang A, B, C, D, E, F, G. As Lola danced around her favorite cocoa tree, her mother looked at the time and exclaimed, Oh my Lola, it's getting late. Remember, school starts at 8. Lola ran ahead and oops, she tripped over a rock and fell. She pumped her head and she began to cry. Her mother rushed over to check to see if she had hurt herself. Lola walked slowly after that, but her mother hurried on. They were nearing the school and Lola's mother didn't want her to be late on her first day. After a while, Lola's mother realized Lola was lagging behind. She turned around and saw Lola standing near the edge of the path, staring at something. Lola, her mother shouted, now it's not time for daydreaming. You're going to be late for school. Lola looked at her mother and said, Mom, come see this. Miss Zola wanted to hurry Lola along, so she went to where Lola was standing. What's that gray thing over there, Mom? Lola asked. With her mother at her side, Lola took a chance to take a closer look. One of the sticks fell from her hand and onto the object, plakatang, they both jumped. Miss Lola laughed. Don't be afraid, Lola. It's a steel pan. I wonder what it's doing out here. She looked around, but there was no one nearby. A steel pan? What is a steel pan? What does it do? Lola was excited again. Tell me, Mom, tell me. Such an interesting looking object that made wonderful noises. Miss Zola laughed again. <laughs> Let's take the pan to Miss Gora. She can tell you more about it. Lola and her mother took the pan with them to forest school. In the schoolyard, all the ladybugs gathered around, curious to see what Lola and her mother had bought. Miss Gora, the teacher, came over to see what the fuss was about. She was a grasshopper and when she saw the object, she did a little hippity hop dance. She was excited too. Lola kissed her mother goodbye as the ladybugs went inside. Miss Gora took the pan and placed it on her desk. Okay, settle down class, said Miss Gora in her teacher voice. All the ladybugs got into their seats quickly. But they couldn't stop staring at the pan. Who knows what this object is? Lola eagerly raised her hand. It's a steel pan. The other ladybugs laughed because they thought she was joking. The only pans they knew were the pans their parents cooked in. That's right, Lola, Miss Gora said. It's the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago. Lola felt good about knowing the right answer. The other ladybugs looked at each other and at Lola, their eyes wide. Class, let's go for a walk, Miss Gora said. We're going to see Mr. Bola. He is a pan tuner and he can help us with the pan. When they arrived at Mr. Bola's shop, he was happy to see them. Mr. Bola was a beetle and he paused his way just a little as they showed him the pan. When he noticed how dirty it was, his antenna twitched and he made a clicking song. He said, hmm, no, 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 this won't do. It's a good thing you bought it for me. Then Mr. Bowler took out his special hammer and tuning sticks. Clang, clang, tap, tap, pong, pong. The ladybugs were amazed. What's he doing, Miss Gora? One of them asked. He's tuning the pan, she answered. He's making sure it sounds just right, so it will sound beautiful each time someone plays it. When Mr. Bola was finished, he polished the pan and the letters began appearing. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Lola leaned over to take a closer look and one of the sticks fell on it again. clack a -tang! The other ladybugs were surprised and they jumped back. 
Mr. Bola, Miss Gora and Lola just smiled. Lola took out her stick and with both of them hit the letters on the pan. What beautiful songs it made. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, pong. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, pong. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, pong. Mr. Bola was excited and buzzed his wings. Miss Gora did a hippity hop dance. Lola had discovered the note. Lola looked at the letters and wondered what would happen if she tapped at specific letters. C C G G A A G, then F F F F D D C, then G G F E E D, G G F E E D. Lola played the notes over and over again. C C G G A A G, F F E E D D C, G G F E E D, G G F. E E D. One of the other ladybugs shouted, Hey, that sounds like the alphabet song. You have some magic sticks there, Mr. Bola said to Lola. Miss Gora told the class that the steel pan was made from an oil drum by a man named Winston Street Simon. He hammered and shaped the songs in the pan just like Mr. Bola did. Miss Gora then explained the letters in the pan are called notes. They are the letters of the music alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Each one makes a different song and together they make music. Lola loved the idea of making music with her magic sticks, especially the alphabet song C, C, G, G, A, A, G, then F, F, E, E, D, D, C, then G, G, F, E, E, D, G, G, F, E E D. Can you play the alphabet song in the steel pan? It's easy if you try. Just remember the notes that Lola played. C C G G A A G. Then F F E E D D D C and G G F E E D G G F E E D.